So, come to these uh, partitions. What is this a partition? In your project, in this cube database, how many measures are there? You have uh, two measures, right? One is a fact product sales and the one is fact product table. So, each measure table, it is considering like a one partition table. Each measure table, it will treat one partition table. See here, this is the fact product sales table. This is the dip product table. Means, when you are going to process the data for this queue, for these particular measures, whatever the data is coming and it will store the fact table, fact product sales information like a one partition. And another one, the dim product, whatever the fact product is coming and store like a another partition. So what I want to do, if you are going to create more partitions for this single fact product table, fact product sales table, right? The simple example is the sales data what I am getting here uh, in a fact sales table is, just go over here. And simply you can write down. This is the fact table and these are the records I have. So this data when I am going to load into our SSAS cube fact sales table. In this fact table I have uh, 10 years of the sales information. 10 years sales information. So instead of keeping all 10 years information like a one partition and one table, one single table and one partition. What I want to do, I want to make a partition each year wise data. I mean, uh, I want to store the data based on the year wise. So 2001 data, I want to make one partition. I want to store over there and 2002 and 2003 and 2004 like this way up to 2010. So when you are going to process the data from your data source to your cube database, how it will process? 2001 data it will process and 2002 data it will process parallelly and 2003, 2004, 2005. If you don't have partition on the year wise, you have only one table that is fact sales product table that is the only single partition. What will happen? It will, it will load the process the data one by one, one by one, one by one, one by one. Row by row, row by row. First it will, pro we don't know how it is processing. First it will process in 2001 or 2002 or 2003. It will process the, it will consider all the records as a single unit and it will do record by record, record by record. The processing time also takes more time. And also from this cube database, when you are going to write down, the, when you are going to uh, fetch the data, for example, you want to see the only 2001 year data. So directly it will go and hit the 2001 partition and it will take the data. Instead of searching the entire fact table and taking the 2001 data only from the all years data. So in this way, the partitions makes your cube processing time and uh, your cube uh, data fetching time also makes very faster. So that is the reason what I want to do. Here I want to create a partition on the, uh, for example, here I don't have year column. I want to do simply on the date wise column. For example, 2013-01-01 party uh, data date, uh, data I want to make a single partition and 2013-02 data I want to make another partition and 2013-01-03 data I want to make another partition. So this is a, this data belongs to single partition and this belongs to another partition and this belongs to
So total I have three partitions. Right? So if you are making these three partitions, when you are loading the data from your data source as well, it will run and it will run, it will run parallelly. For example, if you load uh, this partition uh, two minutes and this will take two minutes, this will take two minutes. Total will complete in two minutes only if you are doing parallelly. If you are doing, uh, if you are treating like this entire thing as a single partition, it will take total six minutes because it has to do this one and then it has to do this one, it has to do this one. And when you are fetching the data also, if you want to see the only 2013-01-01 data, directly it will go to this partition and it will take this data instead of searching in the entire table data. Okay, so how to create this partition we can discuss over here. So I want to make a new partition or uh, whatever the already partition is there, this partition already created on the entire table level. So now what you have to do, you have to change this entire table partition to a particular on which date or which year you want to do this partition, you have to change. Table binding means it has taken the entire table as a single partition. I want to write down a simple query to get the partition on the date wise. So this is the query here. So on which column you want to make this one? That is sales date key equal to 2013 01 01 how many records are coming over here so for this 2013 01 01 total 9 records are coming so this data I want to make a one partition ok right if you want to check the syntax click ok then click ok this is one partition and now another partition you have to make click next so fact product sales and this is the available table and uh, go next so here you have to specify the query the next query is 2013-01-02 data so this I want to make another partition okay and uh, keep this one click next and finish it and this is about the aggregations aggregations either you can create over aggregations tab or if you don't want